Hi, welcome back. For this episode, we're going to look at Big Fireworks Aftermath shells. Uh, they are a 60 gram canister shell. Let's kind of take a look here. On the uh, on the side of the package, a nice little visible window. Of course, they have all the uh, effects listed on the side. Of course, with your natural warning labels that you see on all of them. The only thing is that the effects do not correspond with what you see in the window. But you know that's okay because we're going to take them all out. We're going to review each in, each individual one. So get them documented on our spreadsheet. So I have a good inventory because again I'm sorting these by effects. And if you look on the back, of course, you know, with all the you got the photos of the effects, no corresponding information to the effects, but you kind of get an idea. Of course, they're always better on the box than what they are in person. You know, the wonders of Photoshop. <laughs> of course, your warning label, but still, if you for a visual, you kind of get a good idea of what they are. And of course, now we look at this side, kind of see the same thing. We got different, the different effects listed on the side. Again, the instructions on how to light them. So, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of flip this back over again. So, again, big fireworks, aftermath shells. So let's go ahead and let's uh, get this camera set back up here real quick. So we can go ahead and get started on the unboxing and weighing of the individual shells. Okay, so. yep. And of course you can see my little storage there. So. So again, off to the left, you're going to see a storage. We, we're, we're going to sort them by effects. So, you know, every manufacturer, you know, they may say the same effect, may have a little bit different type of effect. So, gives us a good variety because, again, every manufacturer is going to be a little bit different, a little bit more power, a little less uh, powder. So, again, if, you know, if you're a big fan of any one type of effect, you can do a whole, you know, display just based off that one effect. Okay. So as we can see here, um, they have separated into four, six pieces. So that means we're gonna get four fiberglass tubes. Okay. As you can kind of see, I'm gonna kind of rearrange these here a little bit. Get, give me a little bit more room so I can go ahead and open these up. And of course, they've got them, they got them stapled down and taped down. So, again, four tubes. Hold on to the as I'm opening these up. Again, a reminder. I know you may be kind of sick of hearing it, but it's a good reminder. Hold on to your tubes. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel because here shortly we're going to start re, um, re leasing videos on different types of racks and pieces that you can use with these tubes layout ideas concepts so the whole point of our channel is to kind of give you the the fireworks enthusiast who want to put on a good show for your friends and family kind of make it look as professional but very low, low cost so i'm doing all the work for you you just can take a look at you know some of these videos so Get some get some ideas for yourself. Okay, so again, fiberglass tube. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and get these other ones opened up here real quick. I don't have a knife with me, so I'm using a uh, pencil to cut the tape. And again, this has the MDF board fiberglass uh, tube base. So, as we move on and, and start building racks and stuff, you're going to want to, again, hold on to these tubes. You're going to want to make sure you, you do your measurements based off of the, the larger base tube. And that way you can just go ahead and, and build a whole slew of them. 
and then as you buy more and more of these boxes of artillery shells you'll be able, you'll get more and more tubes and you can utilize those tubes and just continuously expand your shell so pretty excited can't wait to get those videos uh, rolling out here to you hopefully it'll be enough time to, to get your your juices flowing for fourth of july if not if you're watching this later you be able to get your juices flowing for New Year's Eve or whatever events that you're allowed to shoot fireworks on. So, okay. I got two of them open. I really kind of like these, uh, how they're packaged a little bit. Staples are a little bit hard, but once you kind of rip it open, you can get all the shells out pretty quick. Recycle the cardboard, throw the plastic away. Okay, let's see. okay, I got the third one done. And uh, this comes with 24 canister shells. whenever you put a lot of staples it makes it really kind of difficult to open it up but we'll work through it this is half of the fun of fourth of july is unboxing the, the shells getting them sorted getting them kind of getting them labeled again uh, we got a four of the fiberglass tubes and of course i'm also going to you know just for aesthetic Purposes. I'm going to go ahead and also wrap the tubes and I'll, I'll show you that when we get to the to start building out the racks for them so now one thing I, I also want to kind of look at as well is I'm just kind of curious I'm just going to compare some of these shells over on the far left we got a black widow the second from the left is the big aftermath so it's the big aftermath and it's kind of a, you know, a little bit in, a, in alignment with the uh, a little bit taller than the Diablo, a little bit smaller than the Black Widow, and of course on the far right, um, that one is, uh, excuse me, the far right one, that is a Black Mamba. So you just kind of see, you know, all shells are a little bit different sizes, they all have a little bit different effects to them, that's why we do what we do here. So. Okay. okay, so let's take a look at our first shell. So we've got a green wave with crackle, nothing really fancy on the packaging. Okay. Of course, they also have it in Chinese. So we got this shell. Oh, it'd be helpful if I turn my scale on. Okay, so let's try this again. Reset it. Okay, so the green crackle with, or sorry, sorry, green wave with crackles, 144 grams. So I'm just getting this written down here. Okay. Uh, next one, we have red and green wave. Again, nothing really fancy about the casing. And this one's weighing at 135 grams. Next up, we've got the purple green wave with white strobe. So, so far, we got three of them that are the wave. So 143 grams. Got the green strobe with crackle. And this one's at 143 grams. Okay, brocade crown to crackle. And this is 135 grams. And 
red wave with white strobe. And that's 136 grams. A brocade crown with white strobe. This one is weighing in 134 grams. Okay, pink, sea blue, orange, peony. is at 136 grams. Purple, green, and yellow dahlia. I haven't seen a lot of those in the uh, the ones that we've gone through, but so it's good to get a couple extra of those. So 140 grams. Okay, and another brocade crown with green strobe. at 127 grams a little bit less than the other uh, brocades but okay purple green and yellow yellow dahlia okay, and that's at 139 grams Okay, and then we have a corn willow. I wonder if the corn is the color. It's a willow. Hey, I love willows. That's my favorite. So that one's only 123 grams. Okay, red dahlia and tri-silver chrysanthemum. at 131 grams. And then we have Red Wave with Crackle. Okay, and that's at 136 grams. 135. Oop, changed on me. 135 grams. Another brocade crown. And that's at 136 grams. Okay, green dahlia with tri-silver chrysanthemum. So looks like you have the same effects but different colors. And so I'm just going to check here, because yeah, it sounded very familiar, but yeah. Okay, this one's at 130 grams. So you have a red and a green. Same effect, but different colors. See, that's why we sort them. Green wave with white strobe. That's 141. Yep. 141. Okay, we got blue strobe, blue with white strobe. Okay, and this one is 138 grams. Okay, next we have the red. Dahlia with green strobe. That's at 135. 136 green wave and red peony. A couple of peonies in here. That's at 138. We 
got a purple wave and green peony. At 142 grams. <coughs> okay, then we got a tri silver chrysanthemum. Okay, and that's at 125 grams. Red Dahlia with white strobe. And that's at 145 grams. And then the last one, Brocade Crown with Blue Peony. I'm just going to show, you, show you these tubes again real quick before we get them, get that one weighed out for you. And of course, that last one's at 135 grams. Okay. So we'll go ahead and flip over to our spreadsheet. You can kind of see the aftermath. You got a whole bunch of waves, some peonies. So again, what I like about this is when it's all said and done, when I have them all inventory, then I can excuse me I can sort them by effects okay and not by color but by effects and then if I wanted you know say strobe you know a six shot uh, strobe at one point I can do all strobe and of course I just remove them and then whenever I add more more to the inventory then I can just follow the same format and as you can see these are pretty much in the line you know 125 to 141 grams so not the most, but not the least. Okay, so you can kind of see some comparison. Okay. Okay. Well, we thank you for watching. Uh, please be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Hold on to those tubes because uh, we're going to show you later on some different uh, effects that you can use. Uh, be sure to uh, check out our other videos uh, listed below, and. Uh, Again, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.